Asahi Linux is essentially a way to install Linux on Mac devices. And it's very alpha. I think it's formally an alpha. Either way, I'm going to call it an alpha because a lot of things don't work. Like I think some devices still doesn't support the webcam or mics. Um, there's just random things that won't work. But it's super cool. And then Fedora picked it up as an official Fedora spin. So Fedora Asahi Linux is officially something you can install on Mac devices now. And you can use Linux on Mac hardware. This is kind of an update here where Asahi Linux now ships with OpenGL, OpenCL, and Vulkan drivers for hardware. So that means that you can do things like AAA gaming with Linux on Mac hardware. Who thought that you would need to find a way to install Linux on, on a MacBook to finally get AAA gaming on a MacBook? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's, that's exciting stuff. And that's a pretty big accomplishment for the Asahi Linux team because they're basically working with like this black box GPU that Apple is not providing them any support for. So reverse engineering all of this and getting solid GPU support out of Apple Silicon is, is exciting stuff. Yeah, no, it's super exciting. And I'm, I'm going through the screenshots here, but it looks like it's genuinely playing. Um, well, it's here. Many games are playable. Newer AAA titles don't hit 60 FPS yet. But I think that's a pretty high standard. I mean, there's still a lot of emulators for things like the PS3 that don't do that. Like a lot... I, at least last time I checked, the PS3 emulator didn't do well with certain games trying to hit full speed. Um, but it seems like really picky with the game. So I don't know. But I don't know. I'm excited for this uh, mainly because I think it would be awesome to run Fedora on like Apple hardware. I think that's kind yeah. of like the best of a lot of worlds right now, especially with Apple Silicon at the moment, which kind of blows everything else out of the water. Which, when are people going to catch up? I know Microsoft <laughs> released that new device that they said should outperform. The a Apple's uh, chips. I don't know if you've seen that. I'm not sure, but I know Qualcomm has, is releasing like uh, their Elite X chips, uh, their Snapdragon chips for laptops. And I, th those have been out for a while, but it's only like Linux support isn't great for that. On that side of things, Qualcomm is supposedly working to um, improve Linux support themselves. So we're hoping like maybe um, the first half of next year, like Linux support will be good and it will be good viable ARM options. But as far as I know, those chips are fairly performant and should be a good alternative if you could run anything but Windows on them right now. So it's kind of, yeah, it, all of this Asahi development stuff is pretty exciting for me because it's kind of like a race right now between like, am I going to get Linux on my MacBook or, or is Qualcomm going to beat them and I'll get Linux on like a ARM ThinkPad or something, but I don't know how that'll work out. It's kind of like whatever's first at this point. Yeah. But honestly, neither are quite there yet for me. I'd put my money on Asahi. If they got gaming going with AAA titles, that's pretty exciting. And I think they're probably not far off from cracking a lot of things. Um, yeah. I do think it's interesting how they have AAA gaming going before things like all, all, all hardware functioning on a MacBook <laughs> Pro. Um, as far as I know, it's just the, I think it's still the microphone, but I think everything else works. Yeah, let me check. I know for a very long time it was microphone was like the only thing that I really cared about. I think Thunderbolt also might not work yet, but I don't use any Thunderbolt devices. Yeah, so the microphone, Touch ID, Thunderbolt, and USB C displays. So that's those are killers for me because like right now I'm hooked up to a dock, a docking station um, with two, you know, Thunderbolt monitors yeah. behind this camera here. Yeah, definitely no go. So close though. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Hopefully they can work that stuff out. Yeah, I mean, it's pretty important, want... especially for something like the Mac Mini um, or the Mac Studio. A lot of people use Thunderbolt or USB-C displays. I think that's something that they probably, it is a priority, I have to assume, because that's pretty important for a lot of people. Yeah. You just watched a clip from the TechLore Clips channel, which is taken from our main channel, TechLore, where we talk about digital rights, privacy, security, and so much more about tech to give you a better relationship with the technology you use. Check out the main channel over here and also check out maybe another suggested video to learn more.